another beautiful day where I'm headed off to work. It's uh, nice and sunny outside, and uh, let's see, 76 according to my car, but I'm headed to work at 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, I, I gotta say, I really do like working nights, but it really, I don't know, I get tired of the fact that every, every event that I need to attend, whether it be picking up my kids, um, meeting up with family, really doing anything, um, requires me to be up at hours when I should be asleep. Uh, but, you know, I, no traffic, um, really the only annoyance when sleeping is the stupid sun coming in, which being is some freaking, um, uh, curtains again, or another curtain rod or something, I don't know. But, but yeah... It's interesting, though, the, the the things I dream about would definitely make some really good uh, scripts, you know, science fiction and stuff. It's kind of interesting. I always wake up, can remember for like an hour, and then, then it's gone. I think that's why, you know, that's always recommended to put a, a notepad next to your bed. My notepad is still in a box somewhere. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's how um, the Freddy Krueger movies were come, came about was from Nightmares. Plus, you know, all of the H.R. Geiger art, his was freaking Night Terrors. But, anyways, I'm going to head to work and, I don't know, figure something out to do once I leave there. Because i still got some stuff to do at home and... I'm just getting so disenchanted by this whole process of, uh, of moving and readjusting things, preparing for things, and then the vlogging thing is just, I like, I mean, I, I want to keep doing it just because I said I wanted to, but I don't know. Sometimes memories, sometimes things are worth forgetting. Memories aren't worth keeping or something like that, I don't know. But, yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shut up now and drive. So I've been doing some thinking. I realized I've been letting too much negativity into my life. Between actively being cold and distant from people that I probably shouldn't be, especially considering the nature of our relationship uh, requires communication. And I'm, I've realized also that I am, I don't know if I'm to the point where I'm willing to say I'm an atheist, but I am to the point where I can say I'm a non-believer who believes in humanity, but which is kind of a weird thing. Um, you know, I, I would say that there is some kind of a, a greater being in the universe, but I wouldn't go so far as to call him God or Jehovah or Allah or whatever the the different names are for the same entity. But there is a greater purpose in the universe, in a sense. So, I don't know exactly where I'm going with this. But, I think what I really need to do is be, be a better person than what I am, because I'm... I'm distant to everybody, and, I don't know, I just, just one of those weird things, I was sitting there thinking on, on the way home, I was like, oh, you know, I just, uh, I don't know, I think maybe I've just been in a weird kind of a mood the past couple of days, just, I don't know, um, I think I'm just going to weigh too much on my plate. 
between, like I was saying yesterday, just between my move, some stuff I'm getting ready to do, and family and friends and stuff, it's just, oh man, it's just, a, it's, it's difficult being um, self-sufficient, self-reliant, after counting on and relying on someone for so long, it's just, it's, it's hard, it really is. And I'll be the first person to admit that shit. Because I'm lazy. And being forced into a situation where I, I don't have anybody to pick up the slack is, is a bit interesting. But I will say, I wouldn't give it up for anything. I, I do like the freedom. I do like it, you know... I do miss some kind of companionship. I do, I, I do, but I'm not ready for anything else because there's just been too much crap that I've had to deal with. And, you know, I know that there are hundreds and thousands of people who have who have it way worse than I do. And and I don't I don't disagree with that fact. In my own personal world, I am tired of people. I think I said this a few weeks ago. The only people in my life who I'm concerned about are myself and my children. And, you know, my family and uh, my friends, they get the respect that they deserve. And I mean that. I don't mean that in, in, a, in a rude way. I mean, then in the way it sounds, I mean, they, um, they're my family, I, I love them, they're, you know, everything that goes along with that, but the most important people in my life are myself and my children, because if I don't take care of myself, there's nobody there to take care of my kids, and I want to make sure it stays like that, where I'm there to take care of my children. I think that's the biggest thing. I don't want to be a statistic. I don't want to let go and not not be there when they need them or, or be there for them when they need me. It's oh, a lot of crap going on. I don't know. Maybe I'll go into more detail later on, but I need to work on being a better person. I think we all need to work on being a better person. I think that's really what it comes down to is Humanity as a whole, if we let go of the annoyances that bind us because of the the religious beliefs that we have, then we would very likely be more of a cohesive unit. I mean, look at some of the fiction, science fiction, like Star Trek, for example. Um, no religion, uh, no money. Both of those re were removed from the equation, and they became sort of a utopian society. Even in dystopian societies, when you remove religion, things are more cohesive. They may be horrible. They may not be nice. Uh, like, look at Book of Eli. You remove religion, and it was just an old-style um, society. Once they started, once you started trying to add religion into it. That's when it started becoming chaotic and <clears throat> basically went back to what caused the whole um, destruction of mankind. Granted, on a much, much smaller scale. If you haven't seen the book of Eli, you should watch it. It's really good. Um, if you've played Fallout 3, try not to laugh too much because, yeah, just try not to laugh too much. But I think I'm going to leave it at that. I'm, I'm done ranting. I need to go get my clothes dry to get washed up and go to bed. Because I'm tired and thirsty now. I'm really thirsty. So yeah. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that.